Man, I live down in the south, and here lately it has been hotter than two rats screwing in a wool sock, and I ain't kidding you. Well, I got air conditioning in the shop. I shut the thing off for these videos because it's a little bit loud. Today I'm running the air conditioner. I'm in and out of the shop, and I forgot at one point, left the door open, and there is more flies in here than an unkempt dog park. Just be warned. Anywho, let's get on with it. I want to talk to you about preppers today. And you know a prepper is and how they are. They're just these right-wing nut job, far extremists. They're on a list. You know they're on a list. By the way, everybody's on a list at this point. Because when you're doing wrong, you're suspicious of everybody else. I'm just saying. But anyway, getting back to the preppers, they're, they're nuts. Tinfoil hat, crazy freaking people. What do you think? The whole system's going to go down? Is that what you're thinking? The trouble with that is, for all of human history, until about the 1950s, everybody was a prepper. It's just short for being prepared. All of the Native American tribes, they were preppers. It meant you put back extra if you had it, because it was a time of plenty, and you put those things back for a time of need, in a time of scarcity. That's all that meant. People used to have root cellars that they kept their canned goods in because of the bountiful harvest of the garden. You couldn't eat all that stuff at once. It's be stuff go to waste. So they canned it. And then during the winter, they break out a jar. Man, that stuff will last forever if you can properly. 30 years, as long as that seal doesn't give way, you'd be amazed, and I know this for a fact. Anywho, to all of human history, everybody that could be was a prepper. It's just the facts. Now, if you're a quote-unquote prepper, you're a nut job. It's what they'd like to have us believe. Now, I'm riding both sides of the fence on this issue because I'm torn. Number one... It's good to be prepared. It's good to have a little extra. Do you think that, that the something's not going to break? Whether that's a solar flare, an EMP from a hostile foreign country that we keep poking. Um, natural disaster. It's good to have some extra on hand. Even a little bit. Even enough to ride you out, I don't know, three, four days. Maybe you just can't get to the store or the store doesn't have any electricity. The other side of this is, if something really disastrous happens, do you want to live in the world that's going to follow that? Because personally, I do not. I have no interest in it whatsoever. But anyway, we're on the topic of preppers. Is it good to put something back? Is it wise? Yes. Do I want you to do that? I do not. Because if I happen to live through this nightmare, I want to be able to live. I'd like to have a full belly as I go about my business every day. And the more people that are prepared, the less chance I have of survival. I don't want to live forever. But while I'm here, I like to eat. I'm passionate about it, to be honest with you. It's my true, it's my true passion in life. Something's going to give. It may be the banking system, and I say maybe, and I mean definitely, is going to go down whether that's by accident and poor planning and mismanagement or by design. Either way, she's going to fail. She's set up to fail. We, if you've been paying any kind of attention, you know this is fact. The farms and the food processing plants. How many are we at now? 30, 50? food processing plants, just processing plants. If they're not out, owned outright by the Chinese, they're just mysteriously burning down. They just, you know, they combust. Never before in modern history have food processing plants just spontaneously combusted and burned to the ground. But for some reason, the last four years or so, they're just going up in flames. It's crazy. Whatever the case and whatever the cause, whether by accident or by design. Stuff's going to get tricky here very shortly. I did a video quite some time back. I think it was called Bunkers. 
kind of the same vein type thing. You know, you build this luxury bunker and you're all set and you're all ready. And how are you going to get there in the event of an emergency? Kind of sort of the same thing with preppers. Some of these people, man, they've got years where this, this food is going to go bad before anybody actually needs it. I don't the best people that rotate in their stock, when you get so much, I mean, grocery stores rotate their stock. Shipping companies rotate their stock because everything's got a shelf life. Now, that being said, the other side of that coin is stuff can last way beyond that date on the if it's a canned product. Are you ready for a screenshot? I'll give you a second to get ready. Did you get ready? No, because you only think about yourself. But hey, here's this thing. I would take a, a screenshot of it if I were you. Stuff can last far beyond what the date is stamped. Now we've gone to best buy dates. It used to say expired by and give you the date. Now a bunch of it, most of it, I would venture to say, if it comes from a grocery store, is labeled as best buy, meaning it's best buy this date. After that, it kind of starts diminishing a little bit. Pretty well with canned foods. A lot of that you're looking at five, six, seven, eight, ten years. Maybe not ten. Eight. If the can ain't bulged or damaged, it's, you give her the old smell test. You know, if you pass, it's probably okay. I'm not giving you advice to eat it. I'm not a medical doctor. Not an expert on almost anything. I do know a little bit about preparing and being prepared. Then we go back to the other side of that. I personally would rather want to know what my enemies are about and what they're up to than they are my enemies. Whether I've declared them that or not, they've declared me as that. And people like me, or anybody who wants to slow down even, even a little, the impingement on silly stuff like rights and freedoms. I mean, you know. It's that right-wing nut job stuff. And the truth of the matter is, for me personally, I'm not left-wing and I'm not right-wing. It's the same party. You just haven't caught on yet. And most people haven't. And that's okay. You got lives. I don't have a life, so I got nothing else to do other than work. And when I get tired of working, I go fishing for information. I like to know what my enemy's about. And I like to have a little something extra on hand, if possible. That's just me. But again, I mean, it could, it, it could, there could be a storm. I've seen in this neighborhood that I live in now, All it, it was a bad storm. It took out, I think, two major trees side by side, and they killed the power line. In front of that was another tree not far from my place. All these trees blocked the road, and the two further down were much bigger, larger deals. The entire, basically, street, almost all of them, and some from the little side street, came and volunteered. It was it was a really neat, I really enjoyed seeing that people coming together to help, and they all stood to gain, because with this crap in the road, number one, you got the power down. Everybody's power, you know, there were tons of people without power, it wasn't just us. So, the quicker you can get that out, in theory, you get the power back up, or the you know, it's that much less time the power companies have to spend removing logs and stuff like that. But more importantly, they could get out. They could drive their vehicles out of here. Maybe go to somebody's house that does have power still. Or, you know, spend the day fiddling around. Really, This was in the summer. It was freaking hot. As hot as it's been here lately. And we got to the last tree and we couldn't move. It was on a lady's house and the lady's kind of... One of them kind of people, and nobody wanted to touch it, including myself. And there it sat, and everybody beyond that tree was stuck at home. So I took it upon myself to walk around house to house. Do you need, I'm going to the store. Do you need anything? You need some, a bag of ice for a cooler? You need to pick up any meds? I don't even know if that'd be possible. I'm just offering. I'm going out and about. Are you good? Are you in most people? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Hey, thanks for asking. Generally speaking, most people are pretty okay to get along with, especially in times of emergency. The trouble with that is, when everybody is in a crisis situation, it's going to be dog-eat-dog. Dog. And people generally aren't going to be so nice, maybe, some of them, 
when they're watching their kids go hungry, when they're watching their spouse go hungry, or their grandparents, or their parents that are elderly and live with them. Now, those are hard times, man. We have been so spoiled in this country for so long that we've forgotten. And then the, there's the people that say, well, they did it in the Great Depression, right? But in the Great Depression, 50% of the populace lived rurally, and the other 50% lived in cities. A lot of the people in the city starved because they didn't have money to go get food. A lot of them found themselves homeless. Most of the rural population, even the people on the outskirts of town that could keep a milch cow on the back, have a vegetable garden and stuff, they might not have had cash money. They ate. And there's a big difference between not eating and having a little something to munch on. So how can I advise you in this? Which way to go? That's up to you. It's whatever you think, you know, however you want to do it. What we've seen in this country is that people will do just about anything because they're scared out of their wits or what's left of them of dying. I don't know why that is. I mean, I kind of do, I guess. But you do whatever you think is best for you. There's a great majority of people, I think, that are just like, meh. Whatever, I've been hearing this. Oh, Y2K, it's going to collapse. I was one of those people. I thought she's going down and I got ready. But I was young. I had, I guess, the rest of my life in front of me. I kind of wanted to live. Now I simply don't care. Not suicidal or anything. I just, I don't care. And I don't really care to live in a world that's going to follow that. You do what's best for you. I mean... I would think if one wants to be prepared, he'd grab a little something extra if you can every time you go to the store. Even if that's two cans of green beans, whatever, whatever you're into, grab you an extra can. Grab you a flat if you're able to. That's 12 cans generally. Except why? No, because you only think about yourself. But the time for thinking about ourselves, and, and ideally, hopefully, maybe, Thinking about our neighbors is coming one way or another. You do what you think's best, as always. If you got any comments, you can drop them down in the place for the jazz hands to excel. I do thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. And I'll see you next time.